It's Jason here, and what we're going to do is discuss MLPPP, which stands for Multilink Point to Point Protocol. And this is basically what an MLPPP setup looks like. Multilink Point to Point Protocol allows you to bond two or more modems together to get more speed and more redundancy. In this particular situation, we have four DSL modems, ADSL modems, that are set to five megs each download and 800k upload. So you're basically getting four times the speed. So five times four is 20 and then 800 times four gives you 3.2 megs up. How this works is we have three separate dry loops that come into the building and then a main line and they're all broadbanded so they all have uh, DSL access. And what happens is, is through this router which has custom firmware on it, allows it to bond the connections. Now how this works, I'll give you a scenario. You want to upload a photo or something. What happens is, is it goes through the router and the router takes those packets, splits it in the four, and sends it into the DSL and then right at the other end um, where the central office is, in this case it's in Toronto, um, their system puts the four packets back together into a single one and then sends it out. Think of it that way. And then when you're going on the internet, when you're downloading the packets on their end, um, each packet is split into four, sent through here, and then the router puts the four packets together. Now this gets by throttling, which we know uh, Bell likes to do, unfortunately. Um, there's single link MLPPP that will get by that as well with one link. Um, but in order for this to work, you need to be able to have two DSL modems. We have four here. And then you need a router that has firmware capable of MLPPP. This particular router is running firmware called OpenWRT with the MLPPP packages. So it allows you to run in multi-link mode. Um, other packages you can use or firmware that will work on, uh, say, a Linksys router is called Tomato MLPPP. And uh, it basically works the same way. How this works is it gives you uh, redundancy as well. In this case, we have qu quadruple the redundancy because let's say if one modem goes down, I can take this modem, I'm just going to turn it off it's disconnected from the router and everything. What's going to happen is the router, the firmware, D, or OpenWRT, in a couple minutes is going to sense that, whoa, one of the links is down. And then what it's going to do is it's automatically going to switch to three links and run off of three links. So it'll be five times three. So you'll lose a bit of speed. You'll get 15 megs instead of 20 in this case, which is not including overhead. Overhead is about 20%. Um, because of DSL. So what happens is, is let's say um, you, you might have some interruption in some streaming applications. Other applications such as um, instant messaging, you know, real-time chat and stuff like IRC, you're not going to see a difference, just that there might be a bit of lag, but you actually won't disconnect from the network or anything. What it'll, it'll do once the, the router switches over to three connections, everything will come back as it was except for the speed. So now you have, uh, you know, triple the redundancy. And then what happens is, is after your modem, one modem comes back online, well, the router senses that, switches to four connections and then you have full speed again your 20 megs and uh, yeah so it offers redundancy and allows you to double your speed so if you have two modems bonded together MLPPP um, would double the speed and you get double the redundancy now theoretically it is possible to bond cable modems um, which they probably will eventually do but right now um, there's a couple of companies in Canada that are dealing with uh, multi-link point-to-point -point protocol for DSL. So basically, we have all four modems. They're connected through Ethernet into here. This is a WAN port. This is where, what gives the IP address when it starts up. And then the other three modems. So we got one, two, three, four. And then this goes right into, you could go either to a switch 
or in this case I have a secondary router and then it goes to the rest of the building. So this basically does the MLPPP stuff. And yeah, that's how multi-link point-to-point protocol works. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. If you have any questions, email us questions at macintech.net. Check our YouTube channel out at youtube.com forward slash macintech. And if you like the videos, why not subscribe? We'll chat to you later.